Wow, guys, it looks like we have some pretty unexpected news from the world of Disney. Well, I mean, considering how unoriginal the company has been lately, this really isn't all that surprising. According to NIG, oh, sh sh shit, I mean IGN, Bob Iger, the CEO of Disney, has announced sequels to Toy Story, Frozen, and Zootopia during today's Disney Investor Call. That should really go to show how desperate they are for profitable content. I mean, sure, they could try removing divisive political bullshit from their original content. But no, sure, go ahead and make another unnecessary fucking Toy Story movie. Because the world definitely isn't sick and fucking tired of that franchise. Anyway, hi, I'm the PNG Tuber, and today we're going to break down this rather unexpected news. This is kind of like that one Hobbit movie. So to go further in the Iger's announcement, he said that these sequels are going to let Disney lean into their unrivaled brands. And to me, that's kind of a loaded statement. First of all, Disney's only option left is to lean into their existing IP. Because if they lean any more into the new woke bullshit that they try to put out, then they're going to fall off a fucking cliff. And also, what the fuck does this nigga mean when he talks about unrivaled brands? Bro, Universal kicked your asses last year when it comes to animated movies. People have a much better opinion of Puss in Boots and Minions too. And despite the fact that only one of those movies was any good, you can be pretty fucking certain that audiences like those movies much more than a woke bullshit that Disney put out last year. But moving on to these announced movies, I gotta say, what's the fucking point? Toy Story 5 would be yet another sequel to a franchise that needs to be put out of his fucking misery already. What could they possibly do? I mean, Woody is literally homeless now. He's living like the average millennial in San Francisco. And they obviously have to bring him back because you can't just not have Tom Hanks in the movie. This is honestly a really fucking stupid idea. And you know that if I of all people am saying that, then they must have really fucked up. Not to mention the fact that Lightyear fucking bombed at the box office, which just shows that people really just don't care about Toy Story anymore. Also, Zootopia 2 was another really bad idea. I mean, sure, the world of Zootopia is fantastic. But actually, think about it for a second. Zootopia was a movie about an anthropomorphic rabbit wanting to be a cop. And if the world hates anything in the year 2023, then furries and police have got to be at the top of that list. How the hell are they going to make that work in the modern day? I don't know who they think would shell out money for a film that combines both of those things in one unholy package. But hey, I guess Zootopia 2 is a better investment than Strange World 2. I forgot how I even feel about that film, but I mean, just, just, just fucking look at these character designs. That's a face that only a mother can love. And lastly, Frozen 3. Bro, genuinely, what the fuck else can you do with this franchise? They already picked with Frozen 2, and we all know that they're going to include some sort of woke bullshit that will turn off families, children, and anyone with more brain cells than a retarded Democrat. Why don't they uh, try actually making some enjoyable fucking movies for once instead of propaganda ads for the Democratic Party? Huh? Huh? But yeah, to sum it all up, I wouldn't be surprised if Disney goes bankrupt within the next five years. Because they can only run their beloved franchises into the ground for so long. Hell, just look at what they're doing to Marvel and Star Wars. But either way, I'm the PNG Tumor, rushing together a news video so that I can stay ahead of all the other cartoon YouTubers, and signing off. Bye!